Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be discussing Bobby Altoff. We're gonna talk about her because truly it's crazy how much the algorithm, at least mine, has been pushing her content, TikToks posted on X of her content, just all over the place, wherever I go, even on Instagram now, if I go to my explore page, it's there. And the thing is, I don't really follow podcasts on Instagram apart from maybe one, and I don't interact with that type of content, so I don't know how that happened on Instagram of all places. Regardless, we're gonna talk about it because it has permeated all of my timelines and I can't get away, and if I can't get away, I'm sorry, neither are you. That's just how we work over here. So there are quite a few things I want to say about this content. Now, most of it is probably going to be rather predictable if you know me to any which degree on this channel. One thing I wanna get out of the way real quick is that there seems to be debate on whether the way she portrays and carries herself on her podcast, whether that's a character or not. I'm going to assume it's a character mainly just because, me personally, I don't know what she's like not on the podcast. So I'm going to assume that what's on the podcast doesn't necessarily reflect who she is because I feel like that would be a very big assumption to make that, ah uh, yes, she is exactly herself on her podcast. So I'm gonna just call that a character also because I don't want to resort to like personal attacks of like, oh, she's obviously like this, she's obviously X, Y, Z. No, what we're gonna talk about is the behavior on the podcast or on whatever she posts online. There are quite a few funny clips, like I mentioned prior of her podcast interview, if, if that's what you want to call what she does, with Offset. So I'll include that, but I also wanted to include other clips that to me are in a way jarring because listen, I personally enjoy quote unquote interviews. Asking questions doesn't automatically make something an interview. But anyway, I enjoy awkward senses of humor to a degree. I think it gets old very quickly. I don't think it's like ha 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 funny. It's like haha, ha, let's move on and, you know, not make our entire internet persona revolve around the fact of being awkward and uncomfortable. So one of the clips that are going viral right now is her at a strip club. And I'm going to put that up. As you can see, she looks very uncomfortable, very much outside of, you know, her typical surroundings. I don't see her as someone who's at strip clubs all the time based on her demeanor on her podcast. Again, it's a character, but she's clearly a fish out of water here. Let's be real, at least with how she's acting. And this person tweeted, it's gotta be exhausting to live your life like you're bored 24 seven just for an act. And in fact, this person says just for an act, right? Someone else um, later on, I'll see if I can find it, posted a picture and it's Bobby like interacting with the strippers. I don't know if they're talking, it looks like they're laughing, whatever. So again, what we see is not, you know, the reality of how she lives her life, but this is the persona she puts on. So that is really what we're gonna be critiquing. I, I make music for a living. Okay, um, that's cool. And uh, I haven't put out an album for a very long time. No one. No one's worried about that. <laughs> so if you don't want to do anything, you don't have to. Just letting you I'm know, if you were worried, I'm, a, I'm, I'm aware. here to tell you. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. So for the people that are worried about the album. Just your son, probably. <laughs> Maybe your team. So, so for my son. Mm -hmm. uh, I wanted to create an album that would literally change the way that people listen to albums. So I teamed up with the creators of uh, Twilight and some amazing actors and actresses uh, to create this podcast that is uh, a romantic thriller. And then my music is the backdrop for that. Why didn't you ask me? To be in it? Yeah. I just find this all incredibly, I'm going to try and not be mean. I'm going to try and not be mean. It is way too early on Monday, so that's going to be hard. But I find a lot of this very try hard, and I find a lot of this very uninteresting. And 
honestly kind of like a gig we've seen a hundred times before of the massive content creators i think to some degree we've even seen it not in the exact same way but even when, with shane dawson when he was doing his series with jeffree star there were a lot of moments where shane dawson a lot of people critiqued him for this where shane dawson acted like he wasn't a millionaire or like he was poor and that got really, really old for people. And there were a lot of moments where he acted like he was really uncomfortable where it didn't seem like he was. And granted, I don't want to police whether someone's uncomfortable or not, but it's basically when the demeanor and the facts we know don't really align. And so people are like, what the fuck is this person faking? Is this person showing a side of them? We don't know what's going on. And it kind of reminds me of that where people got sick of that really fast. In fact, I remember one of the critiques with Jeffree Star and Shane Dawson's series it was confusing for the viewer to be like, okay, he has all this money, but then he's acting like he's poor. But then in comparison to Jeffree Star, maybe he is quote unquote poor if we're talking about poor amongst millionaires, which in and of itself is a concept. So I'm seeing a lot of the same kind of reactions here where it's like, okay, you're running your own podcast. You're completely entitled to feel uncomfortable and awkward and whatever in whatever situation. But when that becomes your sole brand, I think it's dangerous and mainly a disservice to yourself because now, now let's say Bobby decided that she wants to not necessarily change her content, but change her demeanor online. That's going to be a very hard thing to do because once you have put yourself in a category online, you might try to change that. And a few people succeed too, but most of them don't. So now that you've cemented yourself as the awkward podcast girly, I don't know how easily you can get away from that now that that's basically what people boil you down to, which is why it's dangerous to have this kind of persona in the first place. Because if it's a persona that appears here and there, that's fun, that can be funny, whatever. But if that persona permeates all of your content and all of your content is centered on these awkward uh, conversations, what are, we, what are we there for? Like, what is the viewer really getting out of this because I don't even feel like we get that much information. Now, granted, I have enough boring reading to do for myself, so I'm not going to put myself through a boring podcast, but from the clips, so I haven't seen a full pod, full length podcast episode, but the clips I have seen have all been particularly repetitive. And also we're not really getting concrete information. And I think that's why the interview with Offset interview stood out to me is because for once there was a little bit of a different vibe. It wasn't her being uncomfortable and making someone else uncomfortable. It was someone else actually giving her some of that energy back, being sarcastic, being a little bit shady, you know, like it gave a little bit of energy, which is something so different, which is why I think a lot of people hung on to that. If I had to assign a color to the vibe of these videos, interviews, podcasts, whatever the fuck, the vibe is beige. The color of the walls in a hotel you don't notice. That is the vibe we have going on here. And again, I'm obviously not the target demographic because as much as I love dry humor, this to me is, is not dry humor, like at all. You gotta shake my hand. Oh. You need a little bit of seasoning. You ain't got no seasoning, man. You like a plain piece of chicken, just on the thing, you pull it off and then you serve the dish. You need some motherfucking seasoning, man. Damn, I'm trying to get you to play. You lost in the sauce. You ain't shaking my hand. We finna get you to, to 25 million. You know what I'm saying? Just a little Have sprinkle a great of day seasoning. off that. Just a little seasoning. All right. You can, you can leave now. This is my hotel. I pay for this motherfucker. You can leave now. See how that worked? Mm -hmm. But I don't even want you to leave because I'm not rude like that. I fuck with you. All right. Listen, thank you. I can't, I can't tell. She is the greatest interviewer. In 2023, she's the wave. Come fuck with my partner them. With their what? Partner them. Can you repeat that? Partner them. Partner in them. Partner. My partner. You understand that handshake, don't you? That's a professional one. Thank you. Hey, you got some bony ass hands. If you punch somebody, listen, if you punch somebody, Go like this real quick to the camera. Show them the knuckles. I bet you got a mean right jab. I'm talking about a mean one. Show them. It's a good thing. Like, don't play with you. Like, don't play with sis. Don't play with my sis. Like, she's knocking shit out. 
That's a good reputation, man. Don't play with sis, man. She cool and shit, but she'll knock your ass out. It's sis. Tell us, sis. What do you call Okay. <laughs> okay, I can't watch the offset part on that. Oh man, I love that interview. See, now this is what I find entertaining. If more of her content were with people who give her back uh, the same level of kind of awkward energy, but in a different format, kind of like this, he was dragging her. That's basically why it was funny. Like it was obviously playful and not mean spirited and that's why it's funny. But I do think if we were to put her in a room with someone who actually is very uncomfortable. Can you imagine how boring that would be? It would just be two people like this. Why are you wearing those sandals? And then the other person wouldn't answer and it would continue to be awkward. Like that's the entire vibe I get from all of that, which is also why it's so boring because it's not only not funny, it's not only not dry. Well, I mean, it's dry in terms of content. Like that is a well that dried up. It's also, I feel like an unfortunate waste because with a lot of these people, I'm not saying she has to do serious interviews. She can do whatever type of content she wants, obviously. But with a lot of these people, I'm sure that there are questions that people would actually want answered as opposed to just this uncomfortable feeling that we sit and watch. I don't know. That may just be me. You guys can let me know. Let me know what you think about the character. Again, let's not personally attack Bobby because like, again, none of us really know who exactly we're dealing with in the first place. We only know what is being put on on camera. I am very confused at this format of content and I don't know if it's because I'm, you know, turning 30 in 24 days. And so, you know, like I'm, I'm getting into some kind of early onset boomer phase, but I don't really get the allure of all of this. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you to my patrons as always. And I'll catch you guys next time.